this is find leaves of a binary tree. So you're given the root of a tree and you are to return a list of lists. And on each list is um, the leaves that are on a tree before they're removed. So for example, you're given this tree. The first list has four, five, and three because those are the leaves of the tree in the given state. Then you remove those leaves and then you have um, a root one with a leaf of two. Then you add two to a list and then you remove it and then you have just one which is the root and also a leaf so then you just add one to it there okay um so we have this signature here but first what i'm going to do is um define a, a boolean which is this DFS, and we are going to look at this root, and we are going to add to this list um, the value if it is a leaf. <clears throat> so um, if this is a leaf, we are going to just uh, add it to the list and then eventually return. So um, mostly we are going to be returning false unless we are have a null and if we're at a, le a leaf we're going to add it to the list so um, for our base case so we'll say if our root is equal to null we are just going to return true we're not going to do anything with that we are just going to just return it because uh, it's done at that point um, but if we found a leaf and we'll say our root left is equal to null and our root right is equal to null. We are going to say add this root value and we are going to return true here. Um, and then we're going to search uh, the left and the right, but we are going to say if it's a leaf on the left or if it's a leaf on the right, make that null so we can update it. So if um, left if it is a leaf, we are going to say the root left is null. If DFS root right. We're going to say root right is null. And that is going to be it for the DFS. So basically, if we're at a leaf, we're going to add it to that list and then uh, return true. So let's see what that looks like for our initial method. Um, Basically, we want to say our, uh, we're going to say this Boolean, which is going to be, let's just call it called search. Search done is first false. We're going to have this list of lists here, which is going to be our answer. And we're going to initialize it. And we're going to say while the search isn't done, we're going to have a current list. Which is going to be the current um, list of this the, the tree. Current list will say um, search done is going to be this DFS with the root and the current list. Then we are going to add this current list to the answer. 
And at the end, we are going to just return this answer. So this search done is not going to be complete until we have reached um, all of the leaves and all they're all gone and these have all been updated. So let's just run this. And then the spelling there. So it's pretty straightforward. So basically it's saying um, this is our answer and we're saying while the search isn't done, um, we are going to continue to DFS and we'll have this new current list. Um, so for instance, We'll see our search done it's not done it's not done and then it's true so it's not done here and then it's not done here and then it is finally done um, so um, when the root is null we are just going we could just return true or false this doesn't even really matter we just don't want it to try to access it here on the left or the right side if it is a null already and then it was sent there let me just submit and let's see. Okay, thank you.